What we love a dumb dumb motherfuckers. What is going on everyone? It is I. Everybody's favorite jack of all trades. With the far old mouth. Commodore Urban. And welcome back to another exciting fucking episode of the uh well another fucking ep you know, fucking exciting video guys. And before I begin with this next awesome video, I wanna give a big shout out to all of you guys, my viewers and my subscribers. For sticking around and watching this shit. It's the reason why I fucking do it's for you guys. So, and, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and fucking dive into this shit. This is going to be part 31 of our build of the Revell 1350 of scale model of the DKM Bismarck with detailing set by Pontos. And hopefully fucking soon, uh, I will have the paint from Scale Colors. Still waiting on that shit. Been fucking forever. Still waiting on that fucking paint. And it's bullshit. And then I was talking to, I was telling Ed, if you guys don't know who Ed is, that would be Models and Beer. I was telling him I'm still waiting on the fucking paint. He's like, well, I'm still waiting on shit too for my newest build. He's building the um, Tamiya 1350 scale King George V. Which there's actually two things about that model kit I don't understand that he's doing. Well, one thing I don't understand and another thing or whatever. The first thing I don't fucking understand is the paint scheme that he picked with which is actually in the fucking instructions is that a historically correct paint scheme i'm not really sure because i can tell you right now when i looked at the painting guide for bismarck it was semi fucking correct but it wasn't fucking correct all the way so i said you know what nah fuck it i'll do my own and two he's building the king george v the king george v was the ship that fucking duked it out with my ship, Bismarck, in the end. Of course, Bismarck got fucked and she sank. But that's kind of funny though. I thought I'd point that out. So yeah, there you go, Ed. You're building the ship that killed mine. So anyway, uh, we're going to be talking about a few things I did because since I don't have the fucking paint yet, which is a bunch of bullshit, I figured I'd press on with a few things. And uh, you probably do notice I have the ship dry fitted, of course I drew the lines on her for the paint scheme and you probably see I have the guns put together, well they're not actually glued, but I do have them put together and yes, I do have the the blast bags fucking painted and I'll explain how I did the paint on the blast bags using information from the book and I finished up doing some stuff. Now everything for Bismarck main stuff for Bismarck is 100% fucking primered. So Bismarck's 100% fucking primered, you're probably thinking. But didn't you have some parts you had to get drill bits and shit for? Yes, I wanted to get some fucking drill bits and shit, but I did not get them. And I was not gonna fucking just keep waiting and waiting until I got money and shit. So I said, fuck it. And I said, let's press on with this shit. So the first thing I did, if you remember these, these are the 105 millimeter uh, barrels and breeches for these guns here and here and of course those guns there. You had to get a 0.4 millimeter drill bit, drill into the breeches, stick those guns in there. I did not have that drill bit so I used the smallest fucking drill bit I had and fucking just fucking gun hoed that bitch. Drilled them and then yeah and then I fucking glued them in there and I did the same with the other fucking set, as you can see. Yeah, see, as you can see, there they are. And it worked out fine. It's like, all right. As long as I got them two sets fucking built, because um, I believe this set, yeah, this set here, these are for those guns. And these ones right fucking here, those bastards are gonna be for these guns up here. So then those 37 millimeter guns I showed you in my one of my last build updates. So I went ahead and fucking nipped part of the ends of the barrels off, glued them on into the metal plates on them, and fucking that was it. Voila! These motherfuckers are done too. So I took them, took them all, and fucking put them onto a board taped them, took my can of fucking primer, 
sprayed that shit. Sprayed about a couple, you know, just a coat of that shit on everything. And voila. Now they are ready for the fucking paint. Whenever the fucking paint arrives. Who the hell knows when that fucking paint's gonna arrive? It's coming and um, it's scale colors and literally it's just one fucking guy doing that shit. So, and my mom did call him and said something about he was getting shit sent out and stuff where I had like over 300 plus orders. Still haven't seen nothing yet, so like I said, I'm getting pissed. Anyway, you can probably see the 150 millimeter barrels have their blast bags already attached to them. As well as the 380 millimeter big guns. And you're probably wondering how the hell did I paint them? Because I fucking primer them motherfuckers first. And, and if I show you guys in the book, the Anatomy of the Ship Battleship Bismarck, we look at this fucking picture here. Get my fucking shadow and shit out of it. You can see clearly the color of these blast bags are fucking um, like a canvas, like an off-white with a slight tinge of brown in it. Well, I thought at first I used some of this shit. This fucking shit coming to focus. There we go. This shit. Flat International Tan. So I used this shit first, painted them up, and they, the blast bags, as you fucking see there, were about roughly the color of this fucking blanket. I'm like, fuck. So I went and shot some more primer over them, and I started again. So this time, I was smart. I thought, well, how would I get this canvas looking material? So, I went with this white, took this white and dabbed it on all the blast bags, okay? I dabbed it on all of them. Let them dry for about an hour or so, get that shit done out of the way. And then I took a brush with some of this shit. Yes, I know, I can't believe that I still have model masks, you know. Let's see if I can get in fucking focus. Now, uh, come on, there we go. Sand. Model Masters Sand. And yes, I still have Model Master paint, some. They don't make this shit anymore, which is fucking bummer. I took a tiny bit of this, and I put it, like, dry on the end of a brush. And I took the blast bags. Okay. Okay. So I can take the blast bags and shit and just dry brushed the sand. Dry brushed the fucking sand onto the blast bags. And as you can see, there's the result. Let's go ahead and take, they're not glued in anyway, so. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way. All right, there's the gun. You can kind of see some of the original shit. The original fucking color right there, too damn dark. Now do you see? Looks pretty good. See? That's the right fucking color now. And I even asked my mom, say, Mom, take a look at this. Would you tell me if that looks exactly like that? And she did, she looked at it, she said, yep. It's fucking right on cue. It's like, thank you. I usually don't like to fucking try to do this shit myself because I always second guess crap. And of course the barrels are fucking coming out weather fucking. Anyway, that's what they look like. Pretty menacing looking shit. It's gonna look so fucking awesome when I get them painted because see, like I said, this is what they're gonna look like. They're gonna be lighter gray, and they're gonna have this darker gray, and they're gonna have the yellow tops, and of course the barrels of Bruno and Caesar are going to be yellow and dark, and then Anton and Dora are going to be all dark gray. It's going to be fucking awesome as 
shit. And if you're wondering about these barrels, they're still in primer, but it's going to be easy to pretty much paint them because... Ah, oh, motherfucker. Come on. Alright, here we go. As you can see here, the barrels on those guns are the same fucking color as the barrels, the big barrels. So the dark gray they use to paint the big barrels is the same fucking color they're going to use on the 150 millimeter barrels for your six secondary turrets. So there you have it guys. That's what the fuck I've been up to. So now everything is now ready for fucking paint except for the cranes. I did do some work on the cranes too because they need a drill bit and shit for that. I said fucking I pressed on with that shit but I don't really have them put together just yet. Because like I said I want to get some of that shit painted before I start. So yeah. There you have it guys. That's what I've been doing for part 31 of this build of the 1350 scale Bismarck by Ravel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments about any of the shit, leave a fucking comment in the like section below. If YouTube hasn't turned the comments off from the fucking videos, because they do that. They're a bunch of, you know, cocksuckers. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you're not to the channel yet and you're not fucking subscribed, hit that fucking subscribe button. Hit that damn notification bell. Never miss a video from yours truly ever again. And until next time, this is Commodore Irvin saying a smooth seas and clear skies. Happy sailing with all of you. God bless you all. Take care. Stay awesome. Just be yourselves. Jesus and God both love you very much. And uh, let's go Brandon and fuck Joe Biden. And Trump 2024, baby. Yeah.